Two parcel bombs have reportedly killed at least eight people in Myanmar's insane prison. The Yangon facility houses more than 1,200 political prisoners. And according to local media, the twin explosions went off at 9.40 a.m. local time near the prison's parcels counter. Well, the blast also injured at least 18 others. For the very latest, Leon Waikid, he joins us live now from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Uh, Waikid, at the moment, no group has claimed responsibility uh, for the attack just yet. But what do we know about the blasts uh, at the prison? Well, I'll tell you, details are still very fuzzy, but eyewitnesses are saying that the two parcel bombs uh, weren't the sole uh, cause of the deaths. In, in fact, they're saying that one bomb had gone off, and that was when people panicked. They ran out of the prison, including uh, visitors to the prison. And also, that was when the prison guards and the Myanmar army guarding the prison turned on the crowd and allegedly fired into the crowds. Now, the Myanmar army has not said anything with regard to this incident yet, but the shadow national unity government had just replied me. Its human rights minister condemns this violence. He says that whoever carried out this blast attack that caused civilians to die should take responsibility. And as you said, as of now, no group has owned up yet. But domestically, Violence is increasing and spreading throughout Myanmar. In the early days of the coup, in the early months of the coup, violence was seen on the streets where protesters gathered. There were allegations of the Myanmar army firing and killing protesters. And then it spread to the rural areas, the ethnic areas where aerial bombings and, and burning of villages are reported. And now, increasingly, violence is being seen in prisons across Myanmar. There are more allegations of political prisoners being killed, being beaten to death. Uh, political prisoners being tortured to the point where they form permanent disabilities. And there have also been allegations of not just women, but also men who are raped while in prison. In fact, today, uh, in a separate incident, in a separate state, there was a jailbreak attempt where at least one person was eventually killed by the police. Now, internationally, countries like Australia will watch this with concern because don't forget Sean Turnell, who used to advise Aung San Suu Kyi on the economy, is in jail. In fact, in insane prison where the bomb blasts uh, occurred, uh, he is there because he was found to have breached the country's uh, Official Secrets Act. UK, we have Vicky Bowman, who used to be uh, the UK ambassador in Myanmar. She's also in jail for breaching uh, immigration laws. Japan, there's one uh, filmmaker who also is jailed recently, among other things, for breaking the uh, country's Immigration Act. Closer to home, uh, the ASEAN community will watch this very closely, especially at a time when the ASEAN leaders are preparing to head into the ASEAN summit in November in Cambodia, where they will decide on the next move against Myanmar. Well, thanks very much for all that added information. Leung Wai Kit there speaking to us live from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. <laughs>